the most earth-shattering dig dug. The most realistic just. Whole position at its best. Only the Atari 5200 Super System plays them. Moon Patrol with arcade graphics. Real sports baseball. You're out. Only on Super System. 2600 games, the adapter plays them all. The Atari 5200 Super System. Its only competition is you. Okay, so this is my four port Atari 5200. It's in the box. Box has seen better days. But it's kind of cool to look back on these old systems. So this is the first Atari 5200. You see all these very happy people along here. Looks like we got Bill Cosby, Ryan Stiles, and I have no idea. Maybe this is the kid from Goonies. Kind of cool. And if we look along down at the bottom, we got some of the features. It's got the latest innovation home video game system, arcade game play challenges, uh, your mind as well as your reflexes, spectacular sound and colors, Enhanced true life graphics, uh, one to four player gameplay for strategic thinking, sports, and actions, new dy uh, deluxe switch box, and new dynamic 5200 controllers. Put all the action at your fingertips. Uh, convenient built in cable wrapped and controller storage, which is actually a pretty cool feature on the 5200. Also includes a uh, new Atari Super Breakout 5200 game cartridge. Um, so this is a next generation game system following the 2600 and to package uh, Super Breakout mm, probably doesn't really show how advanced the game system itself is. On the side of the box, just have a picture, it says Atari 5200. I love the, uh, the silver accents that they did back in the day. This one of course doesn't look quite as nice as uh, it did when it was brand new. Looks like we got the same graphic on the side here. Let's see what we got on the top of the box. This at one time had a handle that's ripped off. Again, same picture, uh, Atari 5200 on that side. So they didn't put a lot of effort into the graphics uh, as far as like, uh, I guess it was just kind of like no matter how they put it in there, it was marketed as a 5200. Let's look at the uh, bottom of the system, just looking at it. Uh, probably shouldn't flip this one over. I'll, I'll get a box view after I take the... Uh, Atari out. So let's go ahead and put this guy here. And I've owned this Atari 5200 for quite some time. Was never able to really use it much because uh, the controller's a crap. And that's why I got the new Jaguar converted uh, controller. Um, it's been in the box for a while. A little dirty. Definitely needs to be cleaned up. Um, the 5200 joystick is actually a really awesome joystick. Um, when it works properly. I like the analog stick. It doesn't self-center, so it's really lousy with games like Pac-Man. Well, it has some self-centering, but not much. Um, but the, really the biggest problem with this joystick is how fragile it is. Uh, I believe you got two buttons uh, each side. Um, but it's basically a button uh, A and a button B on both sides. Um, and probably even think about it if you're left-handed or right-handed, it works for you. Uh, this was an innovation at the time having to start, pause, and reset on, on the controller itself. And of course, you can always uh, dial up your friends uh, and they can play along with you. So we'll move that out of the way. This controller, I believe, works. Or at least the last time I used it, probably doesn't work right now. It's in the box. So here, yeah, we've got the Atari uh, power supply. Um, We've got the uh, the switch box. This is kind of cool. The power supply plugs into the switch box, and then the power travels through the cord that powers the Atari as well. So that's kind of a cool feature. I bought this Atari some time ago. These things weren't worth much at all. Um, but the nice thing is, I got a really nice collection of games. So we got Frogger, Popeye, uh, Choplifter, Miss Pac-Man. I, think, I mean, I haven't looked at this thing in so many years. I just didn't even really know what games I even had anymore. Joust, this is just a fantastic game. Um, Hero, Metal Jesus Rocks would be very ashamed. I, uh, of me, I've not actually played this game, um, so I will definitely give this one a go. Uh, Countermeasure, there's the Super Breakout. Uh, Quicks, oops, Quicks. Uh, Real Sport Tennis. And we've got 
Centipede. Uh, oh, Star Trek by Sega. This is actually a pretty cool little game here. That's definitely worth playing. I might have to up my collection a little bit. This is really cool stuff. We've got Pac-Man. This was a big thing for the 5200. I remember one of my neighbors had Pac-Man, and it was very cool. Um, Centipede, uh, Galaxian, Defender, and Moon Patrol. So a common theme here is um, you're looking at a ton of arcade hits from the 80s. Um, I mean, I happen to be a huge arcade fan, so this system is right up my aisle. My alley. I just, I just absolutely love it. Um, let's take a look at what we got here. Yep. Okay. So um, I bought this thing from. Uh, Main Street Audio Video. This is in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. I paid uh, thirty-one dollars. Um, this one looks like it came with four games. Yep. So this one had four games. I bought a second system that had more games. But I know I bought this probably at least uh, a decade ago. So it's been a while. Um, probably pretty good price. Um, let's see the Atari Fifty Two Hundred real quick. Now I hear on the internet that these cases are rather fragile, so I should probably be a little careful with it, because this one is in good condition. Um, the back here, what is that open? There we go. Slides open. Oh, I've got three joysticks. I didn't know that. So uh, there's, a, there's a nice joystick there and another one over here. Oh, this one's got the Revision 9 Gold. So um, I know one or two of these, if not both of them, work. I know well, one joystick doesn't work. So I'll pull them out, play with them, see what works, what doesn't work be kind of fun. Um, these gold uh, contacts used to be relatively affordable. Now they're just ridiculous with the price of gold skyrocketing the way it is. Um, this Atari is kind of cool. You got the four ports in the front. I don't think very many games took advantage of it. Probably Super Breakout. That was probably about it. Um, we've got nothing on the side. On the back, we have, uh, looks like possibly an expansion port. Never really seen anything for that. We've got the channel selector here. Um, nothing on the side over on this way. Take a look at the bottom of the machine. Oh, here we go. This is the cord wrapped up nice and tight. So you can see there's no power input on this Atari. Everything's handled through a single cord, which is pretty cool. Um, but when you plug these in, they will spark. Uh, so. I guess you could nickname your Atari 5200 Sparky. Um, the four-port Atari, it's got a little bit different circuitry in it. Uh, this is not compatible without a modification with the 2600 Game Changer. Uh, other than that, I think it's uh, perfectly uh, compatible. Atari had had planned a Atari 5200 Junior, which cut the size of the console down by quite a bit. I believe it took the joystick storage out. I don't know if the Junior would have been successful. I think if Atari would have done a digital joystick, uh, something more robust, um, shortly after they released a four port, if they would have followed it up with that, the 5200 probably would have done a lot better. But the problem is these joysticks just broke so quickly, I think people just gave up on the 5200. Cause, and it is a shame, because it is uh, a, actually a really nice game system. I, I, to me, this is my favorite Atari. Oh, almost forgot. While well, we've got the Atari out and the box is empty, let's take a look at the back of the box and see what we got going on here. All right. We'll lift the... All right, this is a lot of text here, but Atari 5200, home entertainment of the future, innovative console design, expanded memory for incredible game performance, game play, and game operation, superior graphic resolution for exciting animated characters, full spectrum intensifies brilliant and color density. They're really into the color on this system. Fantastic, highly advanced uh, game sounds, which is true. Uh, automatic switch box with, un with unicable eliminates switching and excessive wires, which is pretty cool. Multifunction 5200 controllers put all the action at your fingertips. Pause feature gives players optional timeouts and in and endurance tested electronic components for greater reliability. I think Atari skipped on that part. Um, this package includes 5200, two controllers, power adapter, TV antenna switch box, 
switch box adapter, new Super Breakout 5200 game cartridge. Very cool. So we've got classics, skills, sports, cha uh, chance, space travel, adventure, education, and combat. Atari 5200, another step in Atari's commitment for developing the best classic sp skill, sports, chance, space, adventure, education, and combat video games. Atari 5200 cartridges feature arcade favorites. Missile Command, Defender, Space Invader, Galaxian, and of course Pac-Man. Try skillful hands at Star Raiders and Centipede. Test your athletic abilities with realistic football, uh, baseball, soccer. These are just sampling of what's in store for, your, for you and your 5200. It's got telling who the trademarks are. Here's the switch box, uh, keypad overlays. Um, let's see here. Multi fire control buttons, multi or multiple fire control buttons, joystick. Can't read that. Sub 12 character keypad. Easy access front control jacks. Nice. Control storage for use with North American television sets. Model CX5200. There's the power switch. And this is when Warner had Atari. That's about it. That's it for the box. I'm going to plug joystick number one in, see if I get any results from this stick. Okay, so I got my 5200 on, and it's plugged into the coax input. And what I'm going to do is uh, get the TV to scan for analog signals. So, English. Home. We are going to hook up, we're going to scan the channels, uh, we're going to do the antenna, so it looks like it found one analog channel, which is really all I want. Let's go, I'm going to see if I can skip this a little short, channel three. There we go. That's as easy as it is to get these old game systems um, to work. So let's see what happens here. This is Miss Pac-Man. I'm going to say reset. Oh, reset button works. There's a start button. Now let's see if I have any actual controls here. I'm going to push down. Oh, look at that. She's working beautifully. So this has been in the box for eons, and it's working. And people say these 5200s are bad. Now I have to say, this television does not have the best picture quality. But it was cheap. You notice I've got a dead pixel here. That was from my first YouTube video when I was doing my soldering. I accidentally hit the TV with the solder iron. So if you're soldering, keep your keep your TV away from the soldering iron. Not a good idea. Yeah, I'm actually impressed. This joystick's working really well for me. I did not expect that. All three buttons up here are working. I'm happy. So a couple things to notice with the 5200 is notice Pac-Man. It's a multicolored sprite. So she has a red bow and yellow body. The, the ghosts have white eyes, so this is really advanced stuff for the early 80s. What's really cool is the 5200 actually was designed a lot earlier. It came out with the Atari 400 and 800 series computer. Oh, there you go. Did you notice the ghost? I had 400 and 800. Just pure coincidence, but kind of cool. So basically what you're looking at is a repackaged Atari 400 computer. Alright, so I know this joystick works. So let me see if I can just reset. 
nope, reset's not working. Pause, pause works. Oh, reset works. There we go. I just had to push a little bit harder. I have no idea what buttons do what on this game, if anything. Buttons may not work. I'm not sure. Fire buttons might not work. I don't know. I haven't dinked with it. Although it just does say revision 9 gold, so this, this joystick should be pretty good. Um, let's take a look at what we got inside here. A couple more joysticks. So joystick 1 works. So I'm going to take this guy out. Let's test joystick number 2. So with these old game systems, it's probably a good idea to turn the system off before you power on. So this is my second joystick. Don't know what's going to happen here. Oh, reset does work. Start. Start works. So moving down, left, right. Yeah, so this is another working joystick. When I, oops, when I first got the uh, 5200, I actually had to take one of the joysticks apart because where it connects in with pots, um, some of the plastic linkages came undone, but um, and I, I probably had to do some cleaning. A lot of it is probably just cleaning the contacts when they get dirty will probably fix a lot of the problems. Pause works. Start worked. Let's see if the reset works. Pause. Reset. No, nope. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I'm impressed. Okay, this is uh, my third joystick. Well, I don't remember even getting these things, so. Let's see what this one does. Not sure if this one's going to work. Start works. Okay, left, right, all that seems to work. Let's see if we go up. Yep, up is working. Pause works. Reset works. Start works. So I have to say that I'm very impressed that everything works on this Atari 5200. It is a little bit dirty. I will be tearing it apart, cleaning it up, putting it back together. I do have some games I'd like to review on it. I also have a couple of interesting products that I just recently bought for this Atari 5200 they are new. So if this is the type of content you enjoy watching, please subscribe, and I hope to see you in future videos. Take care. Goodbye.